traders, my name's Ray, better known as Samurai Trader, and I love day trading. My job is to teach you how to trade the world's best day trading strategies, no matter which market you trade, whether it be futures, forex, or stocks. Now, before we get started, please ensure that you subscribe to my channel by clicking on the red button below to make sure that you keep up to date with my most recent videos on the how to day trade your way to financial freedom. As always traders, I really encourage you to take notes as just that one idea may make a massive difference to your trading. Now, even though in today's session, we're gonna be focusing on the M and Q chart when we get to it, and we're gonna be looking at Renko charts, the same philosophy, the same ideas and strategies apply to tick, time and range charts. So as we do get underway, I do need to pull up the disclaimer. There is a risk in trading. Please make sure that you pause the recording to read the disclaimer. So traders, in our last session, we discussed the income potential by starting with an account of $2,200. Yes, you can start with a smaller account and we will cover that in other sessions and targeting just $76 a day. In other words, two 2B trades a day valued at $38 each trade. And that's after commissions. And in today's session, we're going to be looking at how we do that. But the important part is this. When you have a big enough why, the how will appear. Why do you want this? Why do you want to achieve master day trader status? because when you've got a big enough goal, the how will get you there. And I'm gonna show you how to get there because starting with 2,200 and just two $38 trades a day, gives you the potential of $10,000 a week within 24 weeks. And that is only after increasing your account to two contracts after you double your money each time. And as I say in every video, just in case you haven't seen my earlier videos, where we compound up here and we're saying 100 contracts, you would be trading 10 standard lots at, by that stage. So as you increase the number of micro contracts you trade, you then increase uh, and go to a standard lot. Now here, we really get you enthusiastic and we get you trading, say three to four hours a day and you're just after three golden 2B trades a day, you're up to 10,000 a week within 15 weeks, and look at your account size. If you were to compound that over a year and be trading 10 standard lots, your account size has the potential of being $1.9 million. And remember, you start off by trading one contract. When that increases to 22, uh, 100, by, by further 2200, you start trading two contracts and so forth. This is how you master the art of day trading. You approach it with a business approach, that is with a business plan, conservative. And so we're gonna be looking at the strategies that will get you there. Now, as a quick recap also, I fear the not the man who's practiced 10,000 kicks once, but I fear the man who's practiced one kick 10,000 times. That of course is Bruce Lee. And that is where it comes down to really focusing traders, focusing on the one or two setups and that's it, becoming a master at them. And I mentioned in my last video, just really how many traders have a real issue and with um, wanting to master them all. That is, give me, teach me something new. Give me another setup, and yet they haven't mastered the most basic setups. So there are three trend types that we need to learn. First of all, the uptrend. We're looking for our 34 EMA to be in an uptrend, and we have a saying, it's called follow the gold, because it's just when you get to understand how that works, the 34 EMA, you'll understand just how powerful the 34 EMA is. The next one we need to master, of course, is trading in a downtrend. That is, we short the rallies. We're selling away from the 34 EMA. And as you'll see, we use a range of other moving averages as well. Then the area that we need to be specifically cautious of is when we get in 
a sideways trend. And I'm going to be teaching you in this series of videos how to recognize the end of a trend, the start of a trend, and when we go into CHOP, because this is one of the most dangerous areas. So in the end, as a reminder traders, we want to be trading in the direction of the higher time frame, which is the dark blue line. We're waiting for a pullback, a retracement, and then we buy the trend continuation. This is up here is where we normally then get the, um, uh, the top here uh, is where we normally get the uh, divergence of course. Down the bottom is where we normally have our divergence of course down here. And sorry if I'm doubling up on some of my words here. My little pointer on my main window here wasn't showing. <laughs> okay, so traders, let's go to the charts. So let's get into this. So where is it? Here it is here. So what you'll notice here is I've got a Renko chart. Now, as a reminder, we're looking at the micro NQ. The micro NQ is 10% of the size of the standard NQ. The standard NQ trades in points and there are four ticks to a point. And each one of those ticks is worth $5. So a point on the big contract is worth $20. When we trade the micro, the micro here is worth $2 a point. There are four ticks each movement, each tick is worth 50 cents. So if you've got a small account, it's a great spot to start. Now you may be thinking, well, Ray, I've heard though that I can start trading the micros with around $1,000. Yes, you can trade the micros with a smaller account, However, with what I'm about to show you, it depends on the stop loss sizes that you're going to be using. And I'll explain this as we go. But a big one is, why trade with Renko? Now Renko charts are a chart type that only measures price movement. Okay, now the word Renko is actually derived from the Japanese word Renko, which means brick. Okay, so they look like bricks when you get to see how they stack. Now these ones here are actually offset, which is a little beyond today's session, but they're excellent as far as smoothing out price action. But what we will usually do is actually refer to a tick chart as well. So I'll have a tick chart up the way I trade. I'll usually have a tick chart off to the side and I'll have my Renko charts. Now, once again, what I'm about to show you and explain, you can apply to any chart type. Ranko makes it specifically easy. Now this is where it really comes into what size chart types do we use? That is the higher the time frame we trade, the lower the noise of the market. That is you get a lot less false movements in the market. But if you're like me and you like to say, tuck your stop loss under a little swing low, like just here, uh, the higher the time frame that you actually have then, uh, the larger your stop loss is going to be. So hence, if you're trading a seven point Renko, which is what this is, uh, and, and um, uh, seven points is, is really quite large on the big contract, Okay, it means that you really need to stay within your 2% risk, which we'll explain as we go along. You do need to have that uh, $2,200 account to never ever risk any more than 2%, including your commissions. Now, if you drop, say, down to a four point Renko, you can get away with an account size of about 1700. But in the end traders, what we're after is a chart time frame that is tradable. That is, if it's moving too quickly, um, uh, it's too fast, well then it's very, very hard to trade. So what we're looking at here traders is a seven point, a 12 point and a 21 point. This is what I call my entry chart, my main trading chart. Now, as mentioned in the last video, we have three main trading sessions. We have the New York session where the seven point works an absolute treat. You then roll over into the Globex session, which is 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. 
and that trades until uh, New York opens again. So you may choose to drop down to a four point at that stage. However, the advantage of the higher time frames is that it gives you more time to react, to place your trades, to manage your trades. So for a new trader, trading the Globex session with say a four or a seven point Renko works really well. And even if you're an experienced trader, may I recommend you start from there. Now, what's important here then is the philosophy that we have behind this. So what I've got here, and what you'll hear me talk about steps. When we're looking at the 28 tick Renko, which is the seven point, each step is worth $8. Now, here our risk, and I'll show you where our risk is, where these were our entry and our exit, because remember there are three key considerations. Where's my entry? Where's my stop go? And where is my exit? Our exit depends on a number of key factors, such as where are we in, in the trend? Are there any major support resistance areas? Uh, uh, is there a floor pit of, above or below us, etc. If I can enter, say using a slingshot or a rule of one, my risk, because I'm entering earlier, is only $28. So remember earlier, I said that we want to um, be netting to get our account within 15 weeks to 10,000 a week, uh, three um, uh, $38 trades. What that is, we're after three net five step trades and I'm allowing $2 commission. Now when you trade the micros, with most brokers now, your commissions you should be paying are well under $2 and they should be around the $1 mark per trade. But let's assume $2. So there, where I had on those spreadsheets earlier in this video, $38 and I was talking about two Bs, I'm looking for five steps which we will look at. So I'm gonna take a very conservative approach with you. Now, the, the greater the steps, the better the return uh, compared to our risk reward goes. So at five steps, we're virtually five to six steps on a one to one risk reward. But as you're about to see, trading the 2B, either the 34B or the 2B, it should be giving you a good 75 to 80% win loss ratio. Now, for my members, and I know that uh, there'll be members watching this, and this video is actually more designed, it's designed for the public, but the spreadsheets that I'm showing, as a reminder, you'll find them in the mem members area, they're under micro E mini futures. And there you will find what I'm just showing you there, the, the stop requirements um, when it decides to come up. Here we go. If you're trading, say, the two point, the three, the four, then I've got another one that um, gives you the higher time frames. Okay, so you'll find them in that session in the area that says micro e mini futures. Okay, so let's get back to this. So what we're after is five steps. So let's talk about some of the essentials here. We're only looking at trading in the direction of the higher time frame. We're looking for a pullback, a retracement, and then a trend continuation, not a breakout. If it was a breakout, we'd be waiting for it to break out up there. And in the meantime, we give away five steps. Now taking a very conservative uh, entry. See these white candles? Um, they're called my super scalper. And so we're not entering until the close of the third candle. And just if you're wondering, I've got the super scalper for uh, MT4, think or swim, uh, uh, NT8, NT7, and of course, trade station. Okay, so you get those if you become a member. And once again, if you don't become a member, I'm giving you incredible content here on how to trade these. Now, what I'm looking for is a pullback and a trend continuation in the direction of a higher time frame. Now, what I've got here is two 
higher time frames. Okay, so I call these higher time frames, these two, my anchor charts. Anchor chart one and anchor chart two. If you are a new trader, or if you've been struggling up to now, not consistently profitable, you can start off by trading with only your entry and your anchor chart one, and, and as time goes on, you can advance and then implement, bring in your third higher time frame. Whoops, sorry, just wanted to get rid of that. Sorry, get that out the way, here we go. Okay, so um, you can start off with two. Now, remember traders, with what I'm about to show you, be kind to yourself. Impatience is the biggest killer of traders. You need to give yourself a 90 to 180 day internship. You can learn this. What I'm about to show you ain't rocket science. It really isn't. Okay, so here, this is what you'd be looking at. So let's just go back to this here. So what you've got here, and I'll show you how we read from the right hand side in a moment. But what you can see here is this. This is the open of the Globex session. That's what X stands for open. Normally, if it's New York, I'll go NY, but that's a globe accession. Okay, it opens up. As I said, and I've said in a number of my videos, there's sufficient volume for trading after hours. One to 10 contracts easily on the um, smaller contract, on the NQ. Okay, uh, and the advantage for a newer trader is that you've got more time to place your trade. So the market opens. What I'm looking for here is a retracement back to one of my major EMAs. That's what I'm looking for, is a retracement. Now, when the market first opens, uh, quite often, the first five minutes, you're struggling to get a trade. And we can see up to here, we actually had a divergence trade set up, and that's what the 2D stands for. It means I've had a double divergence set up. That actually, from there to there, actually took uh, two hours to get to there. Now, with that time, let me just start do one thing and I'll just show you this. If the market is extremely slow, and I will show you this down here, that is where you can then drop the time frame down. So what we're looking at here is a four, a seven, and a 12. So I've dropped the time frame down to a four point. Remember, this is your first main video, you'll pick this up in time. Okay, so if it's going straight over your head, just remember, confusion is the doorway to a new understanding. In other words, if the time frame you are trading is too slow, you can drop it down. There is a formula that we use um, to set our time frames. Why four, seven, and 12? If you trade Renko and range charts, we use the same formula. If you trade tick, time, or volume charts. We have another formula for that because they, they work in harmony with each other. But for the sake of this exercise today, let's just stay with the seven because I really wanna show you how to pick up those two to three trades a day and how, which will really fast track you. Now, I want you to forget divergence trading trying to pick the highs and the lows when you first start, okay? Unfortunately, traders have this thing of wanting to pick highs and lows, tops and bottom. There is a great way of doing it, but we're not gonna cover that today. Now, as the market has risen, what I'm looking for now is a retracement or a pullback to my moving averages. See this here, see how I've got the blue, the brown, the yellow, follow the goal, our cyan here, and I've got my purple, whatever that is properly, <laughs> the proper color of that is, that's what we call a fanning of the EMAs. And this happens to be your premium trading area when you start to get that fanning. So what I'm looking for is a retracement, a pullback uh, to my moving averages. Now remember here I mentioned earlier, I'm waiting for my white paint bar, my super scalper, the plot. Now the white paint bar does not actually plot until I get a tick above the second candle. Remember earlier, 
I mentioned, we're, we're looking for a minimum of five steps. So what's a step? See how each one of these steps up. That's what I mean by steps. And in my coaching room, this is what I teach my traders, particularly on these types of charts. It just makes it a lot easier. For an example, with this particular chart of seven Renko, five steps is worth $40 gross. Six steps, 48, seven, 56, 10 steps is worth $80. So ideally, we're after a minimum of five to seven steps. Now, we're not going to enter our trade until the close of this third candle. In fact, let me just, I'm just going to scroll that along. And what I'm going to do is expand this and what the heck, I'll show you what I'm looking for. Now, we can see the candle closed at the third, and this is what we call reading from the right hand side, and this is what you must master. Anyone can look back on a chart and say, this is what we took. For an example, there was a loss, great winner. This was a loss, and there's a reason that is a loss, but you had a winner there, loss, winner, loss, and a big winner, and another winner just there. Now. We're after the five steps. So let me just count from the high. What we usually use is what we call a buy stop, which is gonna put you in slightly above the market, or you might go at a market order. So let's just keep it simple for now. One, see I just ticked up there. Two, three, four, five. Now I go to break even and lock in my commissions. I'm at plus five, six, now, I didn't hit seven, but I did get the six, but I would have got out here. If you remember, I said to you, your highest probability is gonna be five steps. So remember I said, go for five. Five is great here. Now we get a 2D setup. I won't explain the different um, uh, uh, types of strategies that we have. I just want you to focus on your two Bs right now. Now, when you have two two Ds in a, in a row, you've got to be very, very cautious of, con, of trend continuations thereafter. This is a signal we're having, something that's happening on a number of the charts, which is telling us we're right for a reverse. Now, let me just quickly get down this reversal. Okay, we then get a little ABC, because I want to talk about trend trading only. You don't take that because we're after the double, Okay, so now I'm looking for my EMAs to roll over. See how my EMAs are coming together just here, traders. See that just there, okay? So we're actually seeing a pinching of the EMAs or congestion. But what I want you to notice is now, I've had one, two lower highs. On the second lower high, and that was an ABC, I could have shorted there, but what is even more important, see this low here, I've now made an even lower low. Now is a great time for me to consider going short, either here or the next one. Now, what I'm after traders is a minimum of five to seven steps. Note here, and I almost, no, it's not magenta, <laughs> the purple. The purple is a 200 EMA. These are very, very strong support resistance areas, and you nearly always will get a bounce at the 200. Now, once again, let's go for our five to seven steps. One, two, three, four, five, there, you tick just below the five, and if you're using an exit order on your dome, you would have been out. That's your second five-step trade. Now, note this. See how the EMAs have now crossed under the gold. See that there? Remember what I mentioned to you earlier? Follow the gold. Follow the gold EMA. And now we're starting to get that look. That's what we call the start of a fanning of the EMAs. Now, for my entry, I need to have a pullback to the gold 
or deeper, we'll see what happens here, uh, and then have my super scalper plot directing the trade to potentially go short. Why do I say potentially? Well, we may bounce here and continue back in the long side. So here we go a little bit lower, a bit lower. I don't have an entry. Now, here I should have mentioned here also, we've got a floor pivot. Remember, floor pivots are magnets, traders. Okay, and that's another session. Members, uh, or if you become a member, we cover a lot of this on how to trade floor pivots. Floor pivots and your major EMAs are major price magnets. We now come down and look at this here. We almost then have what we call a pivot bounce. Now, when we have, and we don't really even have divergence here, usually if we don't, if we just got this look, we'll usually get a bounce on or at the 34 EMA at the gold. So I'm not gonna call this, so I'm only trend trading at the moment, so I don't have a signal. Now, each time you get a red candle, I should just point this out. When do I know the white paint bar is going to appear? The white paint bar will only appear after I get a down tick below the second candle. And even then, I must wait for the third candle to close. I have very, very specific rules on how to trade this, okay? So what we're now looking for is here, note how I did get a tick down. Now, this is from a week ago, okay? So I'm just going back over a particular time. It doesn't matter when it is, but what would have happened here is there would have actually been a white paint bar there, but because I've rebooted that one, has disappeared. And what's very important, traders, is, is you, you get to learn the rules. So you can look at that and say, oh yes, would have appeared. Uh, but it doesn't replot in real time, by the way. So if you're running this, the white paint bar will stay there. Every single one that appeared will stay there. But there are rules to when it will appear and you, you, you get to learn it. It's very, very easy. So when you get one red candle, I have a concept, I call it get ready, get set, go. First red candle is get ready. Second red candle is get set. Sorry, get ready, get set. And when the white candle appears on a down tick and it closes, that's your go signal. So see how I keep getting red candles. So that's get ready, get set. There's no go. Okay. So now I've got a, a, a white candle. So you would have had just a red candle. That is get ready, get set, now it's a go, okay, now it's a go. Now, this is also what we call a 2B. A 2B is a trend following strategy. And what we're looking at here is something on our anchor charts, which is very, very easy. It's simply following the trend on the anchor charts. Now, let's talk price magnets here. So there's three considerations. Where's my entry? It's too close. Where's my stop go? My stop will go one or two ticks above there, which, you, which will give me typically around the 40 to $42 stop. Why the difference? Well, sometimes with Renko, with TradeStation, you can get your tails can be a little different. There's, these are called custom Renko. Um, You've got these different types of Renko charts. Uh, if you're using um, MT4 in the members area, I give the name of a vendor. I've got no connection. I don't even know him personally, but he sells an excellent uh, Renko uh, plugin for MT4 that you can use. For Ninja Trader, I've got free indicators on my website for uh, Ninja Trader, by the way, and this is the custom. Uh, Renko on TradeStation, Think or Swim has got an excellent uh, Renko as well. So we're entering on the third candle. So my entry is on the close, my stop goes above, where's my exit? What we always consider when we trade is if you're trading one lot, may I recommend if, you're, if you have a fixed target when you're trading one lot, you want to get that cash register in. So you want that five to seven steps. The other thing here is notice how the floor pivot is just down below. 
If this does not turn into a ABC pattern just here, we'll probably almost certainly hit the floor, uh, the floor pivot just here. Okay, because floor pivots are what we call magnets. And in the coaching class, our coaching members know we spend a lot of time discussing how to trade these because you have what we call pivot magnet trades where you get drawn to the pivot and you got pivot bounces. But let's keep it simple. Remember, you only want to trade with the trend right now. Trading with the trend, we've rolled over, trading with the trend or here, trading with the trend, we're going to trade and we're after our five to seven steps. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Now there, on the whole, we now have what we call a pivot bounce trade here right now. Now if we were to look at our anchor charts, we would almost certainly see right now that we've also got uh, what we call divergence setting up. Let's have a look here. So let's just go to this here and let's just see if I'm right. Maybe I'm not right. <laughs> let's just go here and just go down here and and there it is right there. So what we've got right there, and this is looking at only one of our charts, okay? And actually, why don't we have a look at both? Let's do them both. Okay, so let's just do this, go to our other anchor chart. Okay, just here. Just check this, sorry if I'm mucking around here, but I think you'll see the logic here in a moment. Okay, no, I've only got divergence there just on this time frame. So what I've got here, traders, right there is what we call a 1D. Now, when you do have divergence, and, I, and I'll finish off with this for our experienced traders, this is where divergence traders, you can make a lot of money out of divergence trading. However, you master the art of trading with a trend first. Remember, master that those one to two trend following strategies where you're seeing green in your account every day consistently or most days. Then you can start to look at some of these other patterns. Okay, don't introduce too many things initially or try to master too many things. You'll become confused and you will lose money and become frustrated and worst of all, it shakes your confidence to the tree. So, on this divergence trade, note here I've got divergence here, I've got none on my higher time frame, which means I will probably have trend continuation. Note here, I've got no divergence here, which means I've got two out of the three, no divergence means I will probably have a trend continuation. So, what we want to do here traders, is I want to go long and my target for this is going to be back up here at these major EMAs. Sorry, just had to have a sip of my tea here. So what we want to be doing to traders is targeting our major EMAs up here. Now, first of all, let me ask you, what is the direction of the trend right now? Look at your anchor charts. Notice here you've got a fan in, you're heading downwards and you're heading downwards as well. So, almost certainly you're going to get what we call an EMA bounce back up here off your major EMAs. Up we go, our entry, and let me explain that. Our entry is on the close of a third candle. My stop goes just below and I'm after my five steps. One, two, three, four, five, six five, six, and now I've now got another bounce just there. Thank you very much. So that's for the experienced traders. Now, in our next video, we're out of time, we're going to continue talking about how to trade with the trend. Now, with the micro contracts that you trade, let me perhaps just quickly show you this, that uh, for those that are perhaps interested. Um, let me just start uh, pull this up. Uh, where is it? The compound table. Just get the compound table here. That is, and it doesn't matter which market you trade. Uh, but you can use this um, uh, this compound, and if this is in the membership area, you can download this traders. So 
say if you're going to trade a lower time frame, or say if you've got a smaller account, I really want to warn you against traders um, trying to trade uh, are risky any more than 2%. It is like this law of nature that will stop you out, okay? They come looking for your stops if you are risking too much. So based upon a $1,700 account and you're trading the four point Renko because you have a smaller account. Now, five steps, six steps, and let's just talk six steps, six steps on the smaller um, time frame. If you want more trading action, you may have noticed that what we're looking at there over seven was over hours. But if you want to trade the smaller time frame using the same philosophy um, uh, on the four point, and say if you're going for six steps, that is each trade uh, is worth $24. And your risk, by the way, is 25. So after commissions, let's just say they're um, uh, $22 again, um, uh, sorry, $2 I should say, and that would mean that I'm going to be netting, let me just um, uh, go, what's that, $66. This would mean that I still have the potential within 21 weeks, 22 weeks of earning my 10,000 a week by just earning $66 a day, that is three trades a day. And as we finish on this video, I keep saying we're going to finish, okay? This is the four point. And actually, perhaps I should quickly tell you this. And how I have it set up is this on my chart. So I have the, uh, let me just uh, scroll this right along. We're now on the Globex session, of course. And that was a 2B. Uh, that was a 2B. I would have been stopped on that one. I then had a winner and another winner just there. But I would have been stopped on that one. Nice winner, uh, stopped, nice winner, nice winner. Uh, and over that one, where was my entry there? I'm just not sure where my entry, trading in the direction of a trend. But anyway, how I have my chart set up, I have multiple screens so I can look at multiple markets. I've got my four, the lower time frame, so I can trade the lower time frame if the seven is too slow. Okay, so I can jump on the lower time frame. And if we look at today's trading for this globe accession, we can see up here we had a nice uh, winning 2D and just down here, your entry was there, you had another 2B just there and because it's um, Monday, rolled over from Sunday, if you get that sort of look of your pivots, you just turn them off. So you had a really nice five step, actually what the heck, let me just turn this off and show you. I just want to show you how solid this strategy is. Uh, what am I after? Turn off the four pivots. And let me just turn off the four pivots here for you. And I am going to finish on this. Okay. I know the experienced traders are probably really interested. Okay, so uh, after a 2D, you want to be very, very careful. I think I mentioned this earlier of your first uh, 2B trade after a 2D. Very dangerous. Your next one was not until the close of that candle here or that candle there. Where's my stop go? Under here. One, and there's my second uh, trade right there on the close of a third, two. Now, if you look at the time here, traders, that's over like six hours. Okay, so that's over quite, and let me just see that time there. Uh, it's two, what's that? That's over five hours or so. However, one, two, three, four, five, six, and there's six there. Now just going for the twos, there's um, uh, 48, that's uh, $94 in those two trades there per contract on the lower time frame. Yet if you're trading the, uh, on the seven, if you decide to trade the four, you will find you've got more setups. However, remember, lower time frame, more noise. Anyway, there's a ton more I want to teach you. So traders will finish up there. So look forward to session three. Thank you traders and as always, traders, I love day trading.